Hannah was walking up to the office and um, she saw a parent banging on the door and I heard the parent banging on the door and we both kind of ran to the door at the same time. The parent came in and she was screaming that her baby was not breathing. Miss Hannah followed every step she learned and told the parent that she was first aid and CPR trained and asked permission to do perform CPR on her child. As soon as she got permission to do CPR, she just went at it. I mean, she didn't second guess herself and she didn't stop. I know she was worn out, she didn't show it, um, but she didn't stop. I thought that what Hannah was doing was wonderful, but I didn't think it would work. Um, the mother was screaming, she's dead. Um, the mother called her parents and was screaming because she was dead. Um, and I've just never seen that color before. Um, I've seen, I've worked in the infant room, I've seen blue from just choking, um, but I've never seen this sort of gray color. Um, and so we, we all believed that she was dead upon coming into the center. As the time went by, the baby was turning um, more of a brown color. Um, and, but at that point, I was so focused on doing what I was certified to do and doing my job. The CPR for an infant, you take your two fingers um, and you would press down on the chest. And then for the breasts, your mouth covers the nose and the mouth. I believe it was five to seven minutes. Um, time seemed to go by a lot slower. The baby like gasped for air. Um, while I was performing the CPR. And so I rechecked for um, a pulse and for its breaths, and it wasn't taking breaths by itself. We all cried ourselves um, just for relief that, that she was breathing and she was crying. Um, Hannah remained calm. <laughs> um, and I, Hannah went into our gym and I asked her, you know, would you like to go home for the day, you know? And she said, no, I'll just go back to the classroom. After the EMTs took over, it was, it was a relief for me to step back and let them um, be able to do their job. And the, my first reaction was that I needed to get back to my classroom because I left my kids um, with only one teacher. I went to the hospital to visit the baby um, just because uh, further med medical problems were found. And so I just wanted to go and, and make sure that the family was okay, that the baby was doing okay. She did not want any kind of awards or recognition. She was just doing her job and she was just wanted to save this infant. Our staff at that time were all CPR trained, but I think that we, you know, I mean, we would have tried. Um, I don't know if some of us would have gave up or some of us would have panicked. I'm not sure, but I just know that Hannah was there for a reason. To this day, this, that child is at our daycare um, and they love her. Uh, Hannah often watches the child like in the evenings, um, she does their swim lessons, um, and the parents forever or always acknowledge Hannah um, for what she did. I get to see the child grow up. Um, she continues to still go to the daycare and get to see her sister, and it's really great. It made me more, um, just realize that there's a little bit more to life, that um, anything can happen in a minute. I don't feel like I'm a hero for what I did. Um, I feel like a hero is somebody that, that gives up their life and risks their life to go and do something. Um, I was just, I just did what I was trained to do. I just did my job.